for you today. It's gonna to be about the African cichlids. I had ordered two packs of 10 male peacock cichlids from Imperial Tropicals. They gave me a beautiful selection here. Very happy with what they sent. But um, there was a lot of aggression in the tank. And the last video, the mean but beautiful cichlids that I had put out, I had blamed the OB for being a bully in the tank. But come to find out, it really wasn't that he was being a bully. <clears throat> it was actually that there was one female out of 20. And I believe that she's holding eggs right now. It's been about a week and a half. And um, we bought the incubator and we're gonna see if we can strip the eggs and see if we can hatch some cichlids. I have the female in another tank. I'll show you guys here in a second and see if we can get them out. But in the meantime, I'm gonna do a quick feeding here for you guys. So here's the female that I believe is holding eggs. Her jaw seems to be pretty extended. She's refusing food. The OB had dug out a little hole in the corner of the tank and uh, they were doing a little dance off back there. And like that is really what was going on. So I'm gonna try to strip these eggs. I've never done this before. I've watched a lot of videos on it and uh, we're gonna hope for the best. I also purchased the incubator here off of Amazon. It was $10 for the whole kit. It just came in the mail today. So we're gonna get this thing together, get it set up and um, hopefully strip some eggs and possibly have some little baby cichlid fry around here. I guess I should do a little unboxing of this thing. I'm not sure if there's a brand or not. It just says uh, cichlid fish egg incubator with a whole bunch of Chinese lettering that I could uh, never read if I had to. But um, it's the D50 millimeter. That's about all the information. Let's get it open. So here's everything that comes in the bag. 
incubator itself. So it has the air stone inside of it. Not really much for instructions, unless you can read Chinese. But uh, I have watched a few videos on how to set these things up, which there's not really much to them. Push the air tube down through. You want to get the air stone right at the bottom of this tube here, kind of right at the bottom here. There is a little piece of plastic in there so the fry can't get out. Same with the bottom. And some foam sponge at the bottom as well to pull the water up through. something just like that. These clip onto here. Suction cup to the side of the tank. Something like that. Then you gotta hook up your air pump some extra tubing laying around. You will need your own tubing to connect to the incubator. And that's about it. So I'm gonna get set up to uh, strip the fry and see if I can get my wife to hold the camera here for me while I do it. So I got it in a tank, I'm gonna plug it in just to make sure everything works properly. And I'll take it back out and then I'll get set up to strip the fry. I guess that's gonna do it. Looks a little tall for a 10 gallon tank. I could put them in a display tank, but I think this is gonna work just fine. All right, so we're gonna try to catch her. Let's see if we can make this happen. It says that you have to have your hand wet before you touch her. Which I don't see how that's an option anyway. Take a paper clip and see what she's got in there. She's definitely got a lot of eggs and they're already starting to turn to fry. Her little eyes are already sticking out. See that there's still some more in there. That's all of them. We're gonna put her back in the tank with everybody else, and then we'll handle the eggs. So 
So as you take the little pipette or whatever it's called, cut it on a slight angle. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out. I've only seen that in a couple of videos, but we're gonna give it a shot. That is not working out very well. I'm not going to make you watch this whole process, but as you can see, there's quite a few eggs in there. We'll get them in and then I'll show you. So I didn't count how many eggs we had, but they're already starting to hatch. Little eyes are poking out. So we're going to put this thing back together and see if we can make this work. Like I said, I've never used one of these before. Or just a light tumble is best. So what I've been told is you don't want them flying around this whole chamber here. You just want them to be tousled just a little bit. And we're a little bit farther along than what I expected. Their tails are already out, heads and eyes are already out. So also what I've heard is we should have some full fish fry in about seven to 10 days and we can start getting them to eat some real food. I'll keep you guys updated with the process. Thanks for watching. So here she is back in her tank. I've already dropped a couple pellets in there to see if she would eat, and she did. Let's see if I can get her to eat on camera for you guys. crazy how they don't eat for so long and as soon as you strip them out they start again So we got the fry stripped, her back in the tank with everybody else, and um, the fry is separated in the tumbler. And, uh, I'm gonna try to do a time lapse video on the fry in the tumbler and uh, see what I can get from that for you guys. 
But again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thanks.